check out DM's back. All of that, that's mostly gorse. That's Anders looking cut. cut. Nice cuts. Shears, all of us. I know I've had ripped shorts before, but uh, now look at my shorts. What is that? It's all gorse. All gorse and brambles and a path got, this wide. You've got the gorse mud on the upper part of the hill and then the drop straight into the water. On the other side, and it's really painful to push your way into the gorse because if you don't do that, because the gorse is overgrown, you fall down the hill. So you've got no choice but to fight your way through some gorse. So we're going to phone Doc and tell him that this trail needs to be remaintained because uh, it's pretty dangerous oh, actually. Was dry. It's beautiful next to this uh, river. It's just really hot today. I'm trying to stay in the shade as much as possible. Today we're walking 22 miles, this is sort of the beginning, and uh, we got up really early, 6 o'clock, so we should get there in good time. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> Hanging out. It's also really, really windy. And that lake over there is Lake Taupo. Rupeu is just above Anders' head, above the clouds. Loving it. We're now where the prong is. Prong is over there. You can just see it. So it's Those temples are cool. Some of them are a bit tacky, but uh, yeah. yeah, whatever. We're at the Bog Inn hut, and Landy's going to show you how to chop some wood with one hand. Oh, Fail. <laughs> <laughs>